Hey guys, Coach Sebastian here with Matt and Bubba. Uh, now what we're gonna go over is a few kicking options that we can use off of a, a lead hand push. So I'm gonna push my opponent uh, and then I'm gonna use that to create space to set up some kicks. This can be done from both sides. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna change uh, when we're stepping through from our rear side, but for now we're just gonna show the lead side, but there are options for both sides here. Uh, so it's gonna start out uh, with a jab cross. I get my opponent to cover up. I push them backwards, I push their guard, get them to take a step back. That moves them out of boxing range, into kicking range, and while they are recovering their feet or moving backwards, I score my kick. So Matt's gonna demonstrate. First one is gonna be a jab cross, push to a rear low kick. Good. Next one will be the same thing, going high kick. Good. And the last one for fun, this is actually a really great way to set this up, is going to be a uh, push, and we're going to step across into a uh, spinning like a mule kick, uh, like a, a karate style back kick. So one, two, push. Matt steps to the outside, takes his angle, drives that heel and that hip right up the middle, all right? So what I'm going to show now, is uh, this can work really well for kickboxing or for MMA. It's gonna change how I push. So if we're kickboxing and we both got big gloves on and he's covering forward like a, you know, like a boxer's or kickboxer's shell here, he's putting the pillars up, that way I'm just gonna push on his gloves, try to break his posture and give him a little shove backwards, all right? If this is MMA, we're gonna do the same thing, but if I've got open hands, it's risky. I can't really just try to push straight on. Very high chance I end up eye poking. So what I do, if I get somebody covering here, boom, boom, and I've got the open gloves, I'm actually just gonna grab his wrist. So I'll go lean hand to rear wrist, and I'll just push here. I'm gonna push his arm, try to shove his arm up and into him. I can just like push straight on, but if he's got a strong base, he's gonna kind of resist me. So I don't just push straight in, I try to push his hand up and into him. By uh, pushing up, it's gonna break his posture, which will make it easier for me to move it backwards. So if I keep straight on with him, his legs are bent, he's giving me good resistance, and I try to push, it's gonna be hard. As soon as I break that posture, much easier to push. So from here, from the top, I'll go one, two, all right, ba, ba. I push up and in with the palm, or if you've got MMA gloves, I grab, push up and in, bring that posture into those kick options, all right? So this is something that can work really well when you've got somebody that covers up. That is one of the main times that I would use this. I'm not gonna go uh, in and try to like grab and push on somebody that is, um, you know, very active with their hand fighting, somebody that's got very active defense. You, this is something that will work very well in kickboxing and Muay Thai. You can do it in MMA, absolutely, but it is a lot easier if you've got somebody that covers up. Uh, if you've got somebody that's very active with their defense, it stays very long and loose and elusive, this will be harder to hit, but it's still an option that you should know nonetheless. All right?